Believe me, I know the struggle. And if you want to have fries every day, you want to follow this recipe. We're gonna make some great fries in the air fryer. It's gonna be nice and crispy, and you're gonna love it. Let's get started. Now for these fries, we're gonna follow the same concept that we do to make regular deep fried fries, which is you cook it partly before you pump up the heat and make them crispy. Before you proceed, if you like fries at all, be sure to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. We'll first get started by soaking our fries in some cold water. I've cut my fries into half inch sticks, which you can go thinner or thicker if you want. Now to be completely honest, I have forgotten this step before or just didn't want to do it because I wanted to get to the fries quickly. So here's the cheat code if you want to skip this step. We are going to be boiling our potatoes. So while the pot of water comes to a boil, soak them in some cold water to get any excess starch out. In the hot water, some of that starch is gonna come off anyways. So once the water comes up to a boil, add in all of your potatoes. In my case, I was doing a large batch, so I'm gonna do it in two batches. You want to make sure that you don't overcrowd the basket of your air fryer or they won't get crispy. So only boil what will fit in your air fryer basket. Now, the question is how long to boil the potatoes for? It's really up to you. You want to boil it as far as you can dare to before the potatoes turn to mush. You want to take the potatoes out the moment they are cooked partly inside, but it's still firm, as you can see here. In my case, to partially cook these half inch cut fries took between three to five minutes. So as soon as the potatoes are partly cooked, I'm gonna drain that onto some paper towel and then pat it dry. Now gently transfer the fries into a large bowl where we'll just cover it with some olive oil. And to toss it, use your hands because that'll be much gentler than a spoon, fork, or even tongs. Just gently toss them in that oil and then place them in a single layer in the air fryer basket. Now at this point, I just go all out. So the highest temperature for me is 400 Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. And just let that cook. Try not to peak as I was while trying to show you what it looked like. And as those fries cook, you can go ahead and prepare your favorite burger. In my case, I'm having a delicious chicken burger, which I'll show you towards the end. And after 20 minutes, this is what you're gonna see. Golden brown, crispy, and just simply delicious. Now, I told you I'm making a second batch, so just set this aside and let it cool down on a baking sheet. Don't worry about it, we can reheat it later on. Now, I put my second batch in, again, 400 Fahrenheit, 20 minutes, perfectly crispy. Then, because the fries are already crispy, you can just toss it all in one basket and just reheat it at like 390, 380 for about three to five minutes. And that's all it's gonna take to really refresh those fries make it crispy and warm once again. Now, as soon as you take the fries out of the basket, season it with some salt or pepper, and there are so many other variations you can make at this stage. You can put Cajun seasoning, put feta, some olive oil, and have some great feta fries, or you can make a delicious put in. Don't worry, I'll show you how to do all this later on in a future video, so stay tuned and hit subscribe if you want to see videos of those recipes. But the whole point of seasoning it when it's super hot is so that the salt can stick to the potatoes. Don't season cold fries. And here's our burger as I promised. It's gonna be super good with my crispy crispy fries, some ketchup, and my dinner is served. Now I have a question for you guys. How do you like your fries? Do you like them super crispy? Or do you like a balance between crispy and soft? I fall in the other basket. So let me know in the comments down below if you want more videos just like this one. Be sure to hit subscribe, hit that bell icon, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.